Hey everybody, my name is Kadebo, I'm coming back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise mode, we're gonna continue this series boys We started off in the last video doing the playoffs, we finished off the season Clinched it to the third position in our division and stuff like that, so we went to the playoffs, we made it there uh, We got past the first round against the Vegas Golden Knights with a big clinching goal by Eberle at 26 seconds left. So if you guys missed that, it was fantastic. You should definitely see that. Now we're moving on to the second round against the Edmonton Oilers. So already this a big success for me. Uh, for a first season with a bunch of players that are not that good, boys. I did manage to get pretty far into the playoffs. So that's pretty good. Uh, I got I managed to make it for past the first round. So that's uh, really good in my head. Let's take a look at the Edmonton Oilers. What we got, uh, what we're up against this time around. The Edmonton Oilers are going to be, let me see real quick. There it is. So it's going to be Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, and Yamamoto. So now that that's a team right there. We've got a big team uh, already. We've got the McDavid, of course. Uh, Hyman, Dreisaitl, and Puri Arvi. So, of course, they're not playing Dreisaitl with McDavid. Which is kind of a strange move. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Fogel. Torres and Cashin. Uh, Patrick Marlowe. Derek Ryan and Perlini. We got some veterans in there. In the, uh, I would count Torres and everything. A big time veterans. So we got they've got some depth. Some veterans in there. Uh, Dal Donald Nurse. Tyson Berry boys. The best defenseman of the league. Bouchard. Duncan Keith, Veteran defenseman once again. Clefbaum and Cece. Yeah, they've got some good play team. Uh, they don't have anything in the net, though. They only have Mike Smith. I uh, don't want to take anything from him, but I don't think he's going to outplay my goaltender so, uh, to Karras. So, I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to go... Uh, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Uh, I'm really intrigued, but let's move on to the, fir the first game right here. Uh, I really don't know how that's going to go. They're out shooting us this time around, though. Or it seems actually it's pretty even match kind of. They they got a little bit more shots than us. Oh no, they're doubling us in shots. Never mind now. Yeah, they're definitely dominating us on the ice as long as we can keep the puck out of the net, which is not the uh, the case. CC is gonna get a goal. All right. Well, we gotta hope for the best. They've got a really strong team. They've got some great players in Drysaddle and McDavid. They also have. Some depth forwards, like big time veterans and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, only normal. We're getting really outshoot at big time, though. Not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. We're really getting outshoot. We're not like, we're not doing too do too good, boys. I'm not gonna lie, right here. Power play for us, please. Oh man, we should have like done something right there. That was our opportunity. It's third period. We had one power play. We couldn't score on it. Not good, boys. And that's going to be a... Yeah, that's going to be our loss for the first game. We got basically dominated. Big time. It's a one nothing loss, but... It's a pretty substantial amount of shots that we got against us right there. Uh, we didn't get anything done. It, this is not good. Very much a defensive uh, game right here. I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I really don't know what to do with this team. Uh, I think we really need to like put a horn quiz in there. Uh, we need what does this uh, lineup right here doesn't have? What does it doesn't have? Uh, what does it do uh, basically? So we got a sniper. We got a playmaker. We need a two or four. It's gonna be fine, I guess. And uh, what if we want to put? We need a sniper on that third line. Yeah, we need a sniper at least. Yeah, I think that's the best way of doing things. I f we're gonna do. It. We're gonna go that route, boys. I don't really have much of a choice. I'm going that route right here. Let's go into the the third, second game. Let's see if we can uh, do anything against the Edmonton Oilers. Make David straight away power play goal for him. That is not a good sign, and we're still getting outshooted. Another power play for them. Still getting outshooted, boys. What are we gonna do here? I am not sure. We're actually not getting outshooted that much. We are actually going on par with them in terms of shots. So at least there we go. We're coming back now. We're actually dominating the game itself. So that's good. Come on, boys. You got this. Oh my God! Penalty kill. We kill it off. Good. 
We cannot take penalties like that. It seems like we're taking a lot of penalties. Another penalty kill. What the fuck are we doing? We're taking so many penalties. It's gotta be Malkin or something. Malkin is the one that has the worst discipline in my team, boys. But I don't have a choice but to play him on the first line. He's the only one that can... He's the superstar of my team. What am I supposed to do? Alright, well, in the third period, it seems like we might lose another game at the same record. You got a sh Oh, well, empty net goal probably by Marlo. Damn, we cannot even... S we didn't even score a single goal yet in two games. What the fuck? Are we really gonna get, like, screwed up like that by Edmonton? What is going on? All right, well, that is interesting. I mean, Tuka Ras is on fire. Look at that. Tuka Ras is doing his thing. I'm not going to change him. He's playing great. I don't, just don't know what my team is doing overall. My team is kind of sleeping on a job right now. We're going to put it like that, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to change it up. That would give us a plus one, but it's a minus two. So I can't be doing that, boy. So we got to keep it like that. That's the best I can do. That is literally the best thing I can do. Nothing else I can do. So let's see if we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get dumped easily or not. There we go. Ornquist get a goal right here. P penalty kill once again. We kill it off. Let's see if we're gonna get absolutely destroyed. So uh, basically swiped or if we can at least get a win or something. I think we can get a win. It's possible. It's a rare possibility. I mean, we we just need to score a goal or something. It's not like the Edmonton Oilers are scoring that many goals against us. It's like it's nearly a one to nothing loss and a two to nothing loss. Uh, now they got as soon as they say that, of course I talk shit and they score two goals back to back. You gotta be shitting me! Come on now, power play and hey, we can't score in a power play. Oh, this might be a swipe, boys. This might be uh, this might be embarrassing as hell. This might be the embarrassing part right here. We're going to get swiped as... Oh, McDavid and got another goal. Nothing I can do to stop McDavid. What are you going to do, man? He's, he's a crazy bastard. I can't really do anything against this guy. I mean, we're playing. We're all playing them. Someone like uh, the other goaltender, uh, what Mike Smith or something, was playing on his head right here. He, he uh, absolutely played on his head and allowed his team to win, I guess. So... We got swiped in the second round. That's kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. Getting swiped like that. But it is what it is. I guess we're moving on uh, to the preseason, boys. And the Colorado Avalanche are gonna win the cup. Just like that. So the Avalanche are gonna win the cup. Uh, I kind of want to see... Let's stop the simulation really quick. Let's go see the uh, how the uh, playoff... Uh, unfolded and stuff like that so how did it go basically so the boston bruins ended up uh going against the colorado avalanche so the Col colorado okay so we got swiped by edmonton and edmonton got swiped by colorado so it makes you uh that tells you how much how bad we are I'm getting swiped by the team who gets swiped i guess uh, colorado went up against boston pretty tight uh series three to two and they ended up winning it though, so good for Colorado, good for them. The awards this year, Colorado for the Cup, uh, Boston Bruins get the Prince of Wales, Clarence Bell, uh, Colorado, Toronto gets the President's Trophy uh, for the best team, okay, and individual awards, Art Ross, Patrick Kane, Matthew, uh, Matthews for the second year in a row, gets his hands on the uh, Maurice Richard boys. Ted Lindsay for Patrick Kane. Ryan O'Reilly gets a French Silky. Jack Adams goes to the Buffalo Sabres coach. Bill Masterton. Edler. Okay. Uh, Carter Hart. William Jennings. Okay. Uh, UC Saros for the Vizina Trophy. Interesting. Uh, Darcy Kemper for the Conn Smite. And uh, the Calder goes to New Hook. Uh, New Hook. And uh, that's pretty much it. I thought for sure it would be uh, the other one, not New Hook. Okay. Lady Bing to uh, Patrick King. Patrick King getting a, a bunch of uh, trophies. And Tyson Berry to uh, get the James Norris. All right. Well, let's simulate. Let's continue to simulate. So it looks like New Jersey is going to get the first round pick. And uh, who was the first? Okay. So 
Arizona didn't lose too much. They dropped back to the third position. But uh, New Jersey is the big winner right here from sixth to first. They're going to get themselves on the best prospect available. And uh, are we in there? I don't think we are. I don't think we are in there. So Arizona got two first rounds uh, via Montreal as well. You can see right there. So I guess that's that, boys. So we're going to be doing the uh, round pick, uh, the draft fit lottery today. But also, we got the retired players. So let's take a look. Retired players for Fords. We got Patrick Marleau. Uh, I, he tried to go very far. He went to the third round pick, but uh, third round, I guess. But ended up losing anyways, getting swiped. So I guess he's done with it now. He tried his move, but couldn't do anything. So uh, 1,220 points overhaul in his career. Big time career. Definitely a Hall of Famer, boys. Uh, Patrick Marlowe, great, pa great player for uh, for the the NHL. Uh, Dubinsky, Molson, the other ones, nothing crazy. We're not missing on anything. Uh, defense, Brent Seabrook, uh, finished off basically his career as a bum in the AHL. Unfortunately for him, uh, pretty decent career overall though. Boardshock, all these guys. Otherwise, and goaltenders, nothing at all. Uh, on our team, I just want to make sure we didn't lose anybody. We didn't lose anybody on our part. Uh, re coach retirement. Are we losing anybody? Don't think we are. No, we're not losing anybody. And uh, Patrick Marlowe, Boychuk, and Coburn are both, are all three of them are scouts now. Available scouts. Uh, we're going to continue simming. Okay, sure. And there it is. So there is going to be the draft, pay, uh, the draft lottery, boys. Very excited to see what we can do in the draft lottery. We're going to hop on in straight away. Not messing around. So, uh, the actual... The, 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 the devil, devils want to actually trade their first round pick. They're interested in doing so. Somehow. I don't know why. Where's our first? Our first is 18th pick. So, we got the 18th pick. I don't think we can trade upwards, boys. I don't think we have any prospects or whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, I don't think we can go move up too much. I don't think that's going to be a possibility. We don't have any players. Then again, we do. what we do have is a bunch of 2 way 4s that I do want to get rid of anyways. So let's see if we got like 2 way 4s that have a one-year deal anyways. So McCann. McCann is a 2-way, right? Yeah, McCann is a 2-way. And uh, we, got a, a, we want to get rid of him. We're not going to re-slime him anyways. So yeah, let, why not? I, let's get rid of uh, of McCann and with McCann actually I can get very I can get further than this with uh, than the thir say, 13 I can probably get the uh, yeah th get like the 10th pick for uh, McCann and stuff like that so let's uh, trade away McCann and a first so our first in McCann they would get too many players too many players really I think I can get further so maybe Let's see if the Jets are going to be good. Yeah, the Jets should be good uh, to get a McCann. So, the trade away McCann, boys. And uh, a first. McCann and a first for the ninth pick. And it's going to be accepted. So, McCann is uh, going to uh, the Jets. I've got unlimited trades available during the preseason, boys. Don't worry about that. It's during the season itself, only three trades. The preseason, I'm allowed to do whatever. So, uh, we got our first pick. Uh, we got we moved up from 18 to 9th, boys. Double the amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is not enough, I, you'd say. Uh, Appleton and Lynn, then. Not, okay, well, all right. All right, all right. Well, just... Uh, whatever. It's whatever. I can't get my hands on, uh, my hands on that. Vikingstad. Wow, that's one hell of a name. He's a 2 way forward, though, unfortunately. Uh, we uh, got Savoie, so... Matthew Savoie, boys, another elite player. Don't I want to get my hands on an elite player, but uh, you know I got I, I got what I wanted. I moved up enough, I guess. So uh, Jurisek afterwards, Geeky over there wasn't he already part of? Uh, I guess not, but Geeky power forward, uh, Zilkin Fitzpatrick, and now it's our turn. Our turn to make a move. I think we. That's not scouted to the maximum. We do know about him, though. We do know he's a... Right? That's almost maxed out. I think that's maxed out, pretty much. 
So we don't uh, we know Matthew Ward is one of them. And that's a gem. Matches knee right there is a gem. And he's a left winger. Left winger and what is he? He's a power forward. Power forward gem medium elite guaranteed, boys. We should probably go for Matchesney. I'm not gonna lie. Probably go for him. Uh, it, sure, we don't know about these guys. Uh, that's an enforcer. Do you really think I'm going to go for that? Think again. Uh, enforcer defenseman. What the fuck? Uh, we uh, we got... Otherwise, Camel. Gauthier. Cote. We are not sure about these guys. We're not sure about these guys at all. I want to get for... I want to go for somebody I know for a fact is going to be medium elite. Even Wyman, we know... We know he's going to be a medium elite. He's a two-way defenseman, though. But if we can get a, ourselves a really good forward, power forward and stuff, let's let's get Machisny, boys. Israel Machisny. Uh, American. Let's see what we got. There it is. Power forward, medium elite. 62 overall. Really good addition by us, boys. Really good. I'm really happy about our addition. He's going to be a great player. And if by any chance, if we're lucky enough and Malkin still plays by then, you can probably get his luck with Malkin. I don't know. We'll see. But he's going to be a great uh, player for us. Let's see the other ones. So Camel was a 62 overall elite uh, sniper. Power Ford. Oh, Gauthier was a much better one though. Yeah, alright. So Gauthier was a better one, boys. Because he's a power forward as well. Medium elite. But 72 overall. Well, I, I'm still happy with what I got. Still happy with what I got. Uh, see, Lope, that uh, defensive defenseman. Top four. Not a good pick, boys. All right. Well, that's pretty much that. Let's see what Montreal is going to get. I'm just interested. Uh, medium top six power four. Pretty good. Uh, let's move on to our uh, to our next pick, boys. For a second round. Let's see if we can get ourselves some elite. We got Chubarov. Probably available, but... We don't know, uh, he's like, compared to Ryan Ellis, we don't know for a fact if he's still that good. He does have a superstar ability. Players that have a superstar ability has the uh, ability to become a, a basically superstar eventually. So so that's a thing we got to look into, that's for sure. Zach Parise, not really good. Two-way four, don't care about that. Uh, Trubarov is... He's a two-way defenseman, so I'm kind of intrigued. Kind of intrigued by two, uh, by him. We're going to pin him. We're going to pin him. Uh, and uh, for the rest, I don't see anybody really interesting. It's a bunch of uh, garbage players. Uh, Matthias Sedin. Uh, another Sedin, boys. He does have the ability. The potential ability. Medium elite. Yeah, I don't know. He does have the ability, but... What if we go... Okay, so we got the gems right here. Let's take a look at the gems. Top 9 though. And yeah, that's nothing that's... Yeah, it doesn't convince me too much. If we go in there... I haven't really scouted anybody that much. Yeah, my scout, my scouting wasn't that good. I do have a lot of good scouting for the lows. So I'm definitely going to go for those guys. Uh, for the next picks that I'm going to get. Like 3rd, 4th and everything. I'm going to go for these guys. All right, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance right here for the second round. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go for Chubarov. Uh He's got the back at you ability, so that might be a good chance, a thing or not. Uh, let's see, medium top four. All right, it's not crazy. It's not it's not bad. He's an offensive defenseman though, so he's gonna be really good for us. Offensive defenseman, medium top four. We can grow that type of player into a superstar, boys. He's got that ability, right? I'm pretty sure, like, it said he had that ability. So he can grow He can grow into a superstar, which is good. All right, send to the pick, boys. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start going exactly for the players I uh, showed you before. The ones that we know for a fact are going to be good. Uh, or uh, have been scouted. So we, uh, we know for a fact these guys are low elites. So we want to go for them. Uh, Vitu Alama. We're going to go for the one that's the closest right here. He's a 2 way forward though. Okay, no. I'm not going to pick up a 2 way forward just for the sake of it. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I think I I want to go obviously for Nelson. So Nelson, you're going, you're getting in there. He's not even... Wait, he's not a low... 
He's not even a low elite. All right, that was, that was a waste. He's an offensive defenseman as well. But he's not even a, a low elite. That is not good. I mean, I'm still getting better picks than most of the people, but... All right, I gotta get better picks than that then. That is not good, boys. Do you still have the gems? We don't have the gems anymore. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to go for then, boys. No, I don't know. Uh, what about this guy? I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to pick him up. Vendeveld. French starter. Absolute garbage. Kind of a waste of a pick right there, boys. Of course, a waste of a pick. Let's see if we can find some good players, I guess. I, I don't know. Like This is going to be hard to figure it out at this point. going to be really hard. Let's pick that Vitu uh, Vita Luema guy. There we go. There's a low elite. There's a low elite we wanted. And back-to-back -back draft picks as well. So... Between them, a grinder sniper. So we got ourselves uh, our hands on a grinder. 51 overall. Not sure if he's ever going to grow, but it's a low elite, so he's got some potential. And uh, the rest, I don't have any options, to be honest. Really don't have that many options. Uh, we got to look for 18 years of age play players, for sure. I mean, we got this guy right here, Bobkov. And we, are, we do have an Ovechkin, Valerie Ovechkin. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be any good. Let's try a lock on... Let's try a lock on Bobkov. He's 18 years of age. Sniper. It says he's a low top 6. We don't know what to expect. Let's just uh, see. Low top 9 sniper. Pretty bad. So that's not going to be worth anything. Uh, great. I'm not doing some good draft picks right here, boys. I'm not doing good. Uh, what about these guys? Maybe I can pick up one of these two. Right here. Five years for both of them. Uh, takes win seriously. Incredible drive. Amara's got some stuff on him. For the sniper, I don't have anything. Let's take uh, Amara, I guess. Seventh, uh, medium seventh defenseman. Garbage. And now we're moving on to the last draft pick, boys. I really don't like... I haven't managed to take anything. Anything at all that's interesting. Uh, I've pretty much had some garbage stuff overall. Arkelon and Alexandrov. Uh, Alexander Galiev. Uh, that's a two-way forward. Don't want that. Power forward. Might be interesting. Might be interesting. Let's pick him up, boys. Last pick right here. Power forward. Low elite. There it is. Seventh round pick, boys. Power forward. Low elite. 49 overall. Oh, it's going to take a long time to grow these players, I swear. But we got, our, uh, we got our hands on them. So that's the important part. That is the important part. So we can simulate the draft. I did get overall three elite players. So more than happy about my... Like, the draft day was good. Draft day was really good for us. It's just a matter of... Not what, right? It's going to take forever to grow some of them. So we'll see what we're going to do with all of that. Our team is going to completely change their, its face as well, you know? Because uh, we got we had so many like two way fours and whatnot, we're gonna have to make it do. So Malkin does not want an extension. Not a good thing. We want to sign him back, obviously, boys. Uh, we cannot allow him to get away, uh, go away like that. We have Appleton, but Appleton is a two way four, so uh, we are gonna get uh, rid of him, release him. Uh, Johansson is a playmaker, so Johansson was a really good player for us. Blackwell is a two-way forward. Let's get rid of him. We don't need him. So we got one player in the minors uh, right now. Vitulema, we're not going to uh, sign him. We want him to play in the in the Liga or whatever he was playing. We, uh, we want him to play in Europe. And Shehan, is he any good? Two-way forward. Absolutely not. We don't want that. True, two-way forward. We don't want you. And uh, Johansson, we want you uh, big time. So Johansson, we're going to sign him back. Uh, Three-year deal. I guess uh, for to a four-year deal, actually. And uh, we're going to give him the money, boy. So four-year deal at uh, 2.75, actually. Four-year deal, 2.75. He's going to be our depth uh, player. So Wenberg, uh, we already have our center right here. And uh, Wenberg is a playmaker, yeah. And Malkin is a playmaker as well. We want to sign him back. We obviously want to do that. So let's get try and get Malkin. He doesn't want to sign him uh, to sign back. We want to give him five year deal, obviously the big time deal, 
And uh, since he doesn't want to sign back, we're going to have to give him the big time money. So uh, 10.925, uh, boys, for uh, five uh, years. So we are going to need, it looks like, two centers. So let me uh, mark it down. Two centers for the league and uh, three centers for the uh, actual minors. I don't want to sign him either. Uh, Winterton because I need to grow. He's gonna grow faster if he doesn't. Plus he's a, a two way four, so I don't care about him. Uh, yeah, we uh, we want uh, to get those three centers for the minors as well. So lots of centers that we need. Uh, left wing wise, we already have Schwartz. He's a two way four, but he's still playing for us. How many years do we have? We got him for plenty of years, so we're gonna be stuck with him for no matter what, boys. Unless we trade uh, trade him away, which we're probably gonna end up doing eventually. Uh, we do have Young Croc. Now, Young Croc is a sniper, so he was a good player, really good player for us. Got 30 goals and stuff like that, so I kind of want to keep him. Uh, Tanev, valuable to... Well, he's a 2 way forward, so I don't want to really keep him. I got to get rid of these guys, man. Uh, Donato, he's a 2 way forward, so we don't want him back. We want to get rid of him. Uh, this guy, Grinder, but Grinders are now really good. We're going to get rid of him. Two way forward as well. Let's get rid of him. All right. So we do have this guy. This is our biggest prospect. Our first round pick right there. First ever first round pick. Uh, Matt Chesney. Medium elite. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with him. Uh, I think we're going to keep him. Uh, we're not going to sign him just yet. Just like Alexandrov. We're going to let them play uh, over there. Uh, in the minors. Uh, the minors minors basically. And uh, so uh, we're going to let him play over there. Uh, Young Kruk, that's a problem. I want to see if we have better options. But Young Kruk was a really good player for us. I I'm going to have to release him. I'm going to have to release Young Kruk. I'm I'll sign him back, boys, if we don't have any other options. But I want to see what uh, what are the options for the left wing position. So I do, ne I do need two left wingers. And I need the four left wings. So for the minors, I need four left wingers all together. I don't have any left wingers right now. Right winger. We already have Donskoy, uh, Ornquist, and Eberle. They're all signed up for a big time uh, for, uh, for at least another year. Uh, Lind. Want to get rid of him because he's a two-way. Let's get rid of him. Uh, James Neal. Power forward. Let's, we can keep him. He doesn't want to sign back though. But uh, we can definitely keep him. Let's keep you, buddy. I know, I know you don't want to sign back. Let's give you a six-year deal just to make sure you stay with us permanently. We're going to give you three million. 3.5, man, for uh, James Neal. That's a big deal right there for six years. Come on, stay with us, buddy, for the minors. Uh, Bastion, all right, so we got two players. Bastion, is he... Like, how many two-way fours do we have? Good Lord. Melanso, we're going to wait another year uh, before uh, signing you or whatever. We might not even sign you, actually, because you're a two-way. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we need a we need a right winger for defense. Let's take a look at our defense, boys. Actually, a right winger. Uh, well, we already have our depth. Yeah, so we're good actually. So defense. This is the part right here. Giordano, do you want him back? Absolutely, we do want him back. So one, two, three, and uh, Susie can be our depth defenseman like uh, last time. He's a defensive defenseman, but he can be our depth uh, one. So just like last time. So we're going on that part. Uh, so I guess one, two, three, four. Uh, four with uh, Giordano. So let's sign back Giordano. Did he want to sign? He does want to sign. So we don't have to overpay him or anything. Let's give him uh, 6.4 for two years, boys. Let's give him the money really quick. There we go. 6.4 for two years. Uh, so now we got four defensemen. We definitely want to sign back uh, Aiden Flory. He's an, he's an elite player. So uh, he doesn't want to sign back though. But uh, I want to keep you. So yeah, we're going to have to give him the big time deal right here, boy. So uh, for 5 mil, I guess, we're going to have to give him 5 mil for 5 years. Let's give him that exact amount of money. There we go. 5.25 for 5 years for uh, Flurry. So now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 defensemen. And the depth one. And Cholo Whiskey, do you want to keep him? Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of Cholo Whiskey, Joy, uh, boys. Even though he's had a lot of potential, I want to see if we got better options for D-Man. So, obviously, I want to make sure that we got better options if we don't have any better options. So, uh, we need one defenseman, I guess. 
uh, defenseman-wise in the minors, we only have one right now that's signed. Evans needs to be signed. Uh, so we obviously are going to sign him. And uh, we're going to give him the minor year, uh, the minor league uh, deal, of course. So three, three years. So that's going to be two defensemen. What about Ken uh, Connor Carrick? I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll sign him back because he's a two-way, so he's fine. Two years, let's sign him back for 2.2, uh, boys. Making, I'm making sure that everybody signs. So there we go. Uh, Kel Fleury does not want to sign back with us. I guess that's fine. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of Kel Fleury. He doesn't want to come back. That's, uh, that's on him. Defensive defenseman, going to get rid of you. Uh, and Olsen, same thing, going to get rid of you. I don't want any defensive defensemen. So we need three defensemen for the Miners. Goaltenders now. Luka Rask, definitely want to keep him. He had a good se uh, season, a really good season for us. And especially in the playoffs, was doing great for us. Uh, I think he just does, didn't have the team just yet uh, to help us out too much. But I definitely want to keep him. So we're going to keep the same duel right here. So Luka Rask, let's get another goal. I am going to sign you for the long-term five-year deal. Uh, he doesn't want to sign, so we're gonna have to give him double. So we're gonna have to give him nine, uh, nine point three five, boys. Nine point three five for you. Uh, Dakar is already uh, there. B B Bebo, not a very really good player overall. I don't think we want to get him. Let's try and get a better, def uh, better goalie overall. So we're gonna try and get ourselves minor goaltender. All right, that's pretty much it. So we're good to go, boys. We're just going to simulate really quick just to see. So Malkin is back. Johansson is back. Giordano, Fleury, uh, Carrick, Neil, Rask, Evans. Everybody seems to be back so far, boys. So everything uh, seems to be working out for us. Let's see. I think every five, everybody basically resigned. It, it seems like at least. So it seems like we might be okay. Everybody is resigned, boys. So we got everybody. Uh, everybody decide to renew their contracts, which is good. So uh, now it's time for the free agency. So time for to do the free agency, boys. Uh, what we're going to do right here, I just want to make sure that uh, we're good. I think we're good. So let's let's go for the free agency. So we're going to sign all these players really quick. We're going to see what we uh, what we have. Uh, actually, we're going to do the free agency in the next video, but I want to see what we got on our hands right here. So. Center-wise, uh, it seems like we got some good centers. We got Ian Mark, Strong, Ryan Strong, really good one. Uh, Ryan Geslav. So we got some good veterans in there. Uh, so uh, we, we, we got some good options. Really good options. So uh, we're going to see what we want out of these three players, right? We're, we are, we're going to take two of them. So and wait a minute, Galchenyuk. Oh my God, Montreal. Montreal, come on now. So Galchenyuk got traded for Mon at uh, like Montreal got Galchenyuk for a first round pick. They got rid of a first round pick just to get Galchenyuk in the team. And they got rid of him to the free agency. So they basically lost the first round pick for no reason. Andre Palat, uh, that's really good, boys. That's a really good option for us right there. Otherwise, that's the one. Yarn Kruk. I think I might re-sign Yonkrok otherwise, boys. He's a really good player. He's been really good for us, so why not? A right winger, we got Pavelski and everything. Well, Pavelski is good, it could be great, but he's a two-way forward, so we're going to go definitely for a, like Raquel or something like that, or even Brown. And defenseman, Latin. There we go, 88 overall, boys. Well, well, well. We got some good defensemen as an option right here. We got some good goaltenders in there as well. All right, so I'm going to leave it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the intro video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.